I had a car accident in May 2004. I was just coming up through a gully and uh, lost the back end of the vehicle coming around the corner um, and the vehicle went over once and then spun over about three or four times um, and I ended up pinned underneath the vehicle by my legs. I ended up losing both of my legs so I guess I'm classed as a bilateral amputee. Uh, so the left leg is above knee high, I only have four centimetres of my femur and my right leg I still have my knee so I'm a below knee amputee on the right side. The thing that keeps me going is that I'm still alive and uh, I'm really lucky to be still alive so I just keep powering on as the days go by. <laughs> Um, I saw a story in the amputee and family support group uh, newsletter uh, and when I saw the story I just thought right I'm going to do it, I'm going to get in touch with them and it's, I'm just going to make it happen. Right from the start I've always wanted to walk and uh, I, I've tried my hardest through thick and thin, um, through everything that you know I've been offered. Um, through the, the public system. The biggest obstacle for that, for me, is that uh, you can only go a certain way with um, funding and that sort of thing that's available. The, the concept came up from uh, a, a resident in Mergen um, because there was a calendar done about 10 years ago and so we brought it to the committee and basically went for it, decided that it was going to be a great project um, and obviously because it's about legs I thought the theme legs would be the best way to go. Uh, so we came together, uh, had 24 ideas and just picked them, picked the photographers, asked them to be a part of it and then they pretty much went for it and took the photos as the ideas came into their head. Uh, there was a photo taken at the Mergen Sale Yards, uh, there was a photo taken in the Mergen Pool. Uh, so it's all local models and it's all uh, local things in this area that mean something to people around here. I just can't believe the support I'm getting, even from people that I don't know. Um, it's, it's just amazing to, to think that people really want to get behind me and they want to see me walk down the street again. The surgeries will be next year in July and possibly August, September. Uh, and then it'll be a matter of uh, physio and, and actually getting walking again. Um, I'd say that'll probably take me to about Christmas maybe. Um, and then it's just about getting back into life as, as someone who's walking again other, uh, rather than being in a wheelchair 24-7. So I'll be able to walk down the street holding my son's hand instead of you know not being able to because of the chair. So that'll be great. <laughs>